Sinichiro Watanabe is equal to vibes. I mean his anime are literally a vibe check. If you ask me, he is musically genius in directing anime. This guy directed anime shows like Cowboy Bebop, the series vibe is jazz, Samurai Temple, the vibe is hip hop and Space Dandy, the vibe is disco. This guy talk about the music first at the beginning of producing anime whereas other director talk whatever I don't know. He is just too obsessed with music which makes sense now because he is working as a sound producer like in Sony Boy. Because I'm a musical freak and uh, I like <laughs> so many kind of music. Do you know what I call the Watanabe 3 series Cowboy Bebop, Samurai Temple and Space Dandy? I call them the trilogy of Watanabe. I mean like these three are just musically amazing. Jazz for space, hip hop for Edo period and disco for a comedy space show. So Watanabe was born in Kyoto. But the thing is that you expect people from Kyoto to be more Japanese than anyone in the Japan. But he is not. If you ask me, he is a free spirit, especially in anime industry. When giving an interview about Space Dandy, he even said that people are stuck in the boxes and losing their freedom. And he's right. First of all, as, as a concept for Space Dandy, I wanted everyone to be able to, to have the freedom to create what they wanted without being tied down by lots of rules. I felt that with Anime recently, there's a lot of awfully similar work out there and without even realising it, people are getting stuck in boxes and losing their freedom. For Watanabe, Space Dandy was something that helped him to collab with amazing people, even saying that the concept was meant to put in order so that he can collab with other creators. So I created this concept in which in each episode they go to a completely different unknown planet, which means that you can have a completely different style of animation. Um, and that still fits in with, with the idea. I also wanted to collaborate with different creators on each episode. Even producing anime like Carlock and Tuesday to collab with musicians he likes from all over the world. You know the Robo Maker train in 70s, 80s and 90s where Robo and Space Anime like Gundam were ruling the anime and the main sponsor was Toy Manufacturer. Bandai Visual sponsored the cowboy to please Robo and Mecha audience to sell more robots and Mecha toys. But our sincere Watanabe is a free spirit. Even he was given all the free rights to do what he wants. In the end he needs to please the company to sell the toy but he fucked that shit and create the shit. I mean, Cowboy Bebop the way he wants. At first Bandai Visual was angry but the popularity of Cowboy Bebop turned their angry face into happy face. When asked how do you come with the music in Cowboy Bebop he said like this in our interview. So for Cowboy Bebop because it was set in space um, I first came up with some symphonic orchestral music and that just turned into something very kind of Star Wars-esque so I, we, I decided to stay away from that. And about the Samurai Temple, he said this. And for Samurai Temple, because it's set in the Edo period, obviously in the ancient times, I thought, why don't I combine it with the contemporary music? Very kind of like, you know, um, on, on trend music. So we decided to go for hip hop, and that created a very interesting juxtaposition. I always feel like when there is a slight difference between the music and also the anime themes, that creates an interesting balance when there is a gap between the two.